Howdy folks, Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com and we're about to plant some okra seeds but as a preliminary I just want to demonstrate how we get set up to do so. The okra seed is about the size of a BB and um, it has a very hard shell on it, very hard shell and uh, they say you either need to find some way of scratching, whoop, I just dropped it rubbing it on a rough surface to get down to the inside of it a little bit or soaking it overnight. And what we've devised is the way of soaking these things overnight and basically using a recycled, it's an egg crate, and um, I have the seeds in, I cut it, because it, <laughs> certainly not playing a dozen varieties, but we have five varieties and so I cut it and the seeds are in here. I'm not going to tilt it over too much or they'll spill out. And then the little guide is up here that I, I wrote in, in a row what's in each row, okay? So I know that up here we have beautiful burgundy. We love the burgundy okra. Here's a candle fire, another red. And then we have Gold Coast. And this is the um, Cajun Jewel right here in the middle and down the bottom. We're going to try out once again the heavy hitter and these are all great varieties that we've grown before so we're real happy to be back planting them again. Now what I'm going to do is just add a little water to each compartment here slowly 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 and don't want to overdo it and cause the seeds to get mixed up by flowing over into each other and what I'll do later after this, I'm going to probably bag this in a um, plastic bag just to keep it from drying out. But this is an, this is like you could do it overnight, you could do it for eight hours or so and plant these. So I'm going to just close the lid up. That should help keep the evaporation down a bit and set it aside. And then we'll be back to planting. Now, these guys go in a very nice fertile soil. You want to give them a happy home to start their life in. Our okra soaking in this little box, little egg carton thing. And we can open it up and see that, hold on a second. We should see little tiny uh, white sprouts popping up or at least bursting through and I'm what I'm seeing are little tiny dots that are beginning to break break through the shell I know you can't see them maybe I'll take a close-up picture and show you but it indicates that the um, the hard outer shell has softened up enough to let the germ of the seed begin to emerge so that's what we're going to be planting today are these seeds of okra that have soaked overnight so what I'm going to do is take this device here and you see it has about an inch we want these anywhere from a half inch to an inch deep tamp it down a little bit and i'm putting it right here on this where this irrigation um, emitter is and these irrigation emitters are spaced nine inches apart so what i'll be doing as the recommendation goes, you want your okra plantings to be anywhere from 12 inches to 18. I'm going with the full 18. Um, one reason is because this is a raised bed. It doesn't have the depth of, of much of the, um, the kinds of beds that are open at the bottom. This does have a weed barrier at the bottom, so it's kind of like a container. So we're going to be a little conservative and go 18 inches apart, so from here to here. And then I get to select, remember I had my, my seeds labeled in each little egg compartment. And we'll start first with the burgundy. And that's over here on the right. I'm picking two seeds. Okay. And I'm going to put them down in here, first hole. I'm not going to cover up yet. I'm going to use a... Um, sifted soil to put over the top to cover it up 
and then we'll do another burgundy. And this hole over here. Okay, we're all settled in. And then this, this is just a continuous process. We'll move on down the line. And uh, when I come back, I'll put some sifted soil right in the spots where I've set these seeds in. Should take a few days to germinate. We have rain coming in tomorrow, which is always, it's always great to plant seeds and then have rain follow it up. But we will stay in touch with you guys and uh, show you how things are turning out. If you have any questions or comments, please put them up on the comment section on the YouTube channel. You can also subscribe or hit the alert button and we'll send you all the updates that are coming our way that we're generating in articles.